Okay, there were some questions about uh, buttons, having two buttons at one time. First thing I want to say is um, my quilter looks totally different than everybody else because I've made my own handles. It looks like a monster, but um, my handles were made from the Finishing Touches Studios micro handles. My husband did a lot of work. As you can see, he did some welding. And we've removed some stuff to make these work where it hooks directly to my machine. My handles do. You see that? So there's no wiggle room. There's no play. But anyway, the question was about two buttons. I have this button and this button. This button right here does not work right now. It's, it's dead. It's not plugged in. This is the one that I use most of the time. It's a momentary switch that's always open. And um, I have to hold it in with my thumb to make it work. It works out really well. And a lot of times in my videos, you'll see me bringing that needle up and down, and that's how I'm doing it, is with that button right there. I have a lot of control. Um, when I'm doing micro stippling or really intense work, I, uh, it wears my thumb out to hold that in. So I've put in a second button that's a clicker. <clears throat> uh, that's what I call it. I don't know the technical name for it, but you can hear it click. It's either on or off. Okay, and it's just, it's taped on there. Let me see if I can get back here. There's just a, I can't really, can't really see it, but it's just taped with black tape. And the wire runs back through here, back past my pin cushion, and here's the end of it. When I want to use it, I just unplug the old foot, or the old button, and plug in this button. So... I can hold on to these handles, push that button, and do my quilting. And then reach up there and turn it off. And that's all there is to it. Nothing fancy. A little black electrical tape and a new button, and you're good to go.